Okay, uh, let's let's try to talk a little bit about the response of a multiple degree of freedom system. In our uh, multiple degree of freedom system, we actually have uh, mx double dot plus kx. Uh, what we uh, used to do in uh, the case of free vibration is setting the right hand side to be equal to zero. In our case, we will say that the right hand side is actually now is a vector uh, f where uh, in if i redraw uh, the the example we had here uh, you have uh, m1 m2 k1 k2 and uh, these masses move uh, uh, in the directions or in the degrees of freedom x1 and x2 so uh, for such a problem you will have the forces acting on the system as uh, f1 and f2 in this case so uh, you'll actually have for this specific example f1 and f2 as the uh, excitation uh, vectors this is not uh, really uh, the, the point we want to uh, handle right here uh, our problem will be that okay now that if we have f as a vector equals to some magnitude vector f naught times e to the i omega t or j omega t to be uh, consistent with uh, the notes uh, f naught here is simply a vector uh, that has the magnitude so it's f1 note f2 note remember that uh, e to the i omega t uh, is a, a harmonic function uh, this harmonic function has an amplitude and then cosine or sine omega t uh, this is going to be our amplitudes and e to the j omega t is the general harmonic term uh, if, if that's the case, uh, mathematics tells us uh, that the response x will be equal to x1 uh, and x2, where x1 and x2 are the magnitudes also. So we'll just call them x, uh, uh, let's just call them x1 and x2 now for the sake of uh, uh, amplitude maybe we can give them a little bit different uh, uh, I don't want to use X note let's say X uh, star as the uh, magnitude vector times e to the j omega t which will appear again here X uh, e to the j omega t so uh, if you have harmonic uh, excitation if you have harmonic excitation what you will get is harmonic uh, response here harmonic excitation here is the function okay so you should expect the response to be harmonic as well here with some amplitude vector let's use this to see how can we do some of our uh, modifications to uh, the system now uh, if uh, x uh, is equal to x star e to the j omega t then x double dot the acceleration will be minus omega squared x star e to the j omega t put that back into the uh, differential equation you will get minus omega squared m x star e to the j omega t plus k x star e to the j omega t equals f naught e to the j omega t so we ended up here uh, with uh, a relation in which we can simply uh, remove the e to the j omega t from both sides and we end up with an algebraic relation what's this uh, you will have the relation written as uh, minus omega squared m plus k 
okay multiplied by the vector x star equals f naught what happened here now omega remember this is not omega here is not the natural frequency omega is the excitation frequency let's go back a little bit here see what we have is omega is the excitation frequency uh, of uh, the system so for any given uh, excitation frequency we can evaluate k and m and then add them with omega squared you'll get a matrix another two by two matrix or three by three or n by n matrix multiplied by what is this this is basically remember this is the amplitude of the response right amplitude of the response so this is an unknown value all what you need to do is invert invert the matrix invert this okay multiply it by f and you'll get the amplitude response here so x star will be minus omega squared m plus k inverse times f naught this is an algebraic relation remember we started here with a differential equation okay where is the equation that we wrote here we started with a differential equation okay in which you have an excitation vector in time uh, on the right hand side and uh, system degrees of freedom on the left hand side but in the special case of harmonic excitation what did we get we ended up with a uh, 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 an algebraic relation between the magnitude of the excitation and the magnitude of the response which you could solve algebraically so now uh, we kind of have a relation that looks like the static uh, uh, problem in the static problem remember uh, we could write x uh, sorry x times k equals to f and to get x you said it's k inverse times f right where f is whatever you have now the same happened here with us in this relation so we actually call this uh, uh, matrix the dynamic stiffness matrix let me rewrite this so we call uh, minus omega squared m plus k we call this kd where kd is the dynamic stiffness matrix so the above uh, uh, equation can be written as kd x star equals f naught or you can write that k star equals kd inverse times f uh, naught